What's up, guys? Welcome back. This is the Past Our Primes podcast, the NBA Playoff Edition. I'm doing my best Tom Brokaw impression, and I am Alex Himes. I'm Thomas Weir. Mm, I'm Jake, Jacob Hill. Uh, who's Tom Brokaw? I don't really know. Past Our Primes, buddy. Oh, friend of the program? No, I meant just like past, he's past his prime. Oh, he's past his prime. As in deceased? No, he, uh, no he, he's around still. He's a news, t- a TV show news host, I think, from NBC. Is he, like, real old? Yeah. Like, real old now? Like, irrelevant. Okay. He was on before Matt Lauer. Shout out to Matt, not Matt Lauer. Ooh. No, not Matt Ooh. Lauer. No, I meant, uh, we what's We an anti-Matt Lauer pa- podcast. What's his name? Uh, Anderson Cooper. No. I'm forgetting. I don't know. Uh, Williams, last name. Brian Williams. Brian Williams. Yeah, yeah. Brian Williams. That's who it was. Yeah, Matt Lauer can suck it. Yeah. Screw Matt Lauer, honestly. Jacob, any input there? I don't know. No, okay, so no feelings, we got to so. talk about the playoffs, guys. This has been crazy. And first off, we're stopping with the Celtics. You guys like that game? How do you like that? How do you like that? I mean, they responded real well. I didn't think they could do it without Kyrie, but Terry Rozier, man. I mean, I don't even think He's it's... He's a dog. I don't think it's even uh, much of a win for Boston as much as it was a loss for Milwaukee. Yeah. I mean, it, if, I J- if Jason Terry's playing 18 minutes, like, you're you're <laughs> fucking up Aww, pretty bad, yeah, pretty bad. Uh, I don't know. I still don't see Boston getting out of this though. See, no, I, like this game showed me that yeah, the Celtics are kind of in trouble because they get stagnant with their scoring on the offensive side. But like that defense is too good. Well, mm-hmm. Milwaukee also doesn't know how to like grab a ball out of the air no, at all. They don't. At yeah, all. if Giannis isn't flowing for the Bucks, they literally have. Nothing. I think the I think they should put Giannis at center. Honestly, they have him guard Al Horford. Why not? Are we talking about like permanently for the rest of the playoffs, or just for this the series? The series, yeah, no, that makes sense because they could go small against Horford, and he could abuse that man, mm. especially on the block. I think Al Horford's playing the best basketball of his career. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. The Celtics are getting their money's worth out of Al. Mm-hmm. They really are. I mean, maybe not two hundred thirteen million worth, but like when you got to sign a free agent to get people to show up in Boston again, to make it a destination. Yeah, yep. he's doing his part. I think if the Celtics can win this series, I think that'll make Brad Stevens like the elite coach in the NBA. I think he already. I, is. I think he already. I think he already is, but he's like top five right now. I think that'll move him like top. No, two. not top five. Mm-hmm. I think he's the. Who's name your top five then? I'm giving it to Popovich at one. Okay. Like there's there's no question, just out of respect. Even though Kawhi doesn't want to play for him. Yeah. Keep like going. look to do what he's done for like over twenty years with this same franchise, get him those rings too. Like, I agree. He's he's elite. elite yeah. Player. And then honestly, I I give my respect to other coaches like Spolstra. And I think Eric Spolstra's top five coach. I think he gets Miami the playoffs with shit. Every year. With shit. Every year consistently too. But honestly, my second best best coach and this is just because i'm a celtics fan is definitely brad stevens because he's able to do i know but who are the top five coaches if brad stevens isn't one if he's not one yeah i thought you said he isn't you said he wasn't. yeah you said he wasn't no i said he was oh i said take. he was a top oh. five coach okay if not, okay what i was gonna say was i got confused with that because i was gonna say i think he's top two words but are that's hard my opinion. words are hard words, oof, oof. Yeah. brad yeah. stevens might be nervous. top two i don't know it's finals week we're, we're a little messed up guys but but Thibodeau. Um, Thibodeau is definitely not. No, he's the best Thib- coach in the NBA. Thib- Thibodeau is definitely If we're going to talk about the playoffs, I'm going to talk about how much I fucking hate Tom Thibodeau. All right, let's go. Let's go <laughs> like, on. Okay, the Houston game was infuriating for me because Carl Towns kept getting switched on to, like, Chris Paul or James Harden, and Derrick Rose and Jeff Teague just decided they were better players than him. I mean, and then Tibbs, I think, just loves that. Like, oh, small – or, like, Guy worked hard on defense, gets his shots. No, like you're not a middle school basketball coach. Like no, your best yeah. players should get the coaches or no, the shots. I agree. And the town's only getting 15 field goals, only 15 shots in that game. Can't do it. Can't Especially do it. against Houston with Clint Capella, that man will abuse him on the block. They need to give him the ball and start playing the inside. Clint Capella's really good, though. Dude, yeah. All right, uh, he's are you guys, very good. Let me ask you this: Do you think that Clint Capella is really this good? Or do you think that he benefits from the Rockets? It's a little of both. Like, mm-hmm. he definitely benefits, but he's definitely a very good center. And, like, if he stays in Houston, will be a very good center. I think he's making a lot of money this year because it's his free agent year. Yeah, no, I agree. It depends on who goes to Houston, though. When LeBron goes to Houston. <coughs> LeBron. Yeah. And Paul George. And Paul George. Did you guys see that post where it's, like, the They're all their names. lineup? Yeah. yeah. Creepy. Boy. 
but I've never had a field day with that. Uh, I really hope he doesn't go there. I really, I don't know. Houston, I think they miss Mbaba Mute like way more than they Jeez. realize because he's Ryan so Anderson. lengthy. And Ryan Anderson. Yeah. Yeah. Like they miss their length and they're like Ryan Anderson was three and D basically for a power mm-hmm. forward. I mean mm-hmm. that's I don't know. And you have PJ Mute. Tucker having to guard like Taj Gibson, which is a Mismatch on the boards, at least. Do you know that Mbaha Mute posted the best, I think it was PER, in a game? Those are just words. Those are just letters. I don't know what that is. He posted the best (laughs) plus minus rating in a game this year. I think it was ever, actually. Like 50 or 75 for a plus minus. Mbaha Mute? Mbaha Jeez. Mbaha Mute. No, yeah. I mean, I I love, like, Harden. I think he's a, like... An extremely good talent, better than Kobe, but not better. Better than Kobe, but man, like his his offensive game is just. Let's let's get Harden to get his rings first, and then we'll put him in the conversation of being better than Kobe. Well, yeah, we've all, we've already had that that debate. Mm-hmm. It did not. I'm just well. saying, if he For gets Kobe. his rings, it's over. See, yeah. we can all say that because he's in the prime of his career, and we don't know what the rest of his career is going to hold. So you could ultimately just win this. I'm just saying, like day. he's incredible right now. Oh, he is. He's and offensively, he's, mind. offensively, he's incredible right now. You know, and I forgot Kobe was a crazy shutdown defender. We can bring up the stats. He was first team all defense. Like first six team times. all defense doesn't. All right, just move on. <laughs> I'm gonna get you're really not, you're hot. You're not gonna win this argument. It's two against one. Anyway, James Harden just lulls people to sleep, and then he'll just hit a step back three. And yeah, I think the offense it. works right now, but it only works if he's scoring like fifty a game. Well, but the thing is, he can at least go for 35 a game, mm-hmm. at least, almost and, every time. See, and Chris Paul really gives him that insurance policy to where, like, if he has a game like he did last year where he was a no-show, mm-hmm. I you just, have a dude that's reliable enough to do that for you in a game where you're not feeling it. I feel like Chris Paul is just such a prick. Like, such a prick. A thousand percent. Like, the microphone a little closer. Now you can hear me. Oh, um, oh is that Jacob? Is that Jacob I hear? Oh. Yeah, resident uh, Kobe truther, Jacob. Um, the truth of that, he's a five-time champion. So I mean, yeah, those NBA. are just not – okay. Um, anyways, yeah, I oh, hope – I think Houston's going to sweep them. So will Kawhi play? That's the big question. Will Definitely he play not. Against the Warriors. Hey, uh, Himes Let's on the last Himes. show said, oh, he's definitely going to come back. The Warriors are in trouble. And I said, I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't play the first game. They lose by 20, and then he says, I'm not playing anymore. Looks like Jacob's right, who also might be right about the Harden thing, but we'll see. We'll, we'll check back we'll in, like, 20 years. In 20 years. Yeah, like, in 20 we'll check years back. down the road, you can say Why that. 20? Why not, like, 10? Why okay, not we'll check 5? Like 10 when he has no championships. Okay, that's wrong. See, no, I don't think that. I think he'll end up retiring with a couple rings, but I don't think he'll end up being... He will only get a ring if LeBron goes to Houston. I hope they win the finals this year. All he has to do is outweigh Golden State for them to just... Whoever wins the West is winning it. Because the East is trash. The East is such trash. Yeah, I, think, I don't know but I will trash. say, I will say, whatever team comes Philly the West, would get smacked by see, that's what I Warriors see. or... I Houston. If Philly ends up making it, which this is a big if, I'm not saying that they will. I'm saying if, I'm very interested to see who they would play and how it would turn out. Mm-hmm. The only teams in the East that can even compete with teams in the West are like Charlotte. Cleveland or Charlotte. what? Is <laughs> <laughs> Cleveland or uh, Philly? But even with that, it'll be a gentleman sweep, five one or four one, Ooh. five games. My bad. Five games. Yeah. Math's, Math's hard. Math's hard. We're about, to we're about to ladies and gentlemen. Off. Sorry, we're expanding our brain power on something else. Whew, yeah. So. Well. But I will say the biggest surprise game for me, honestly, was that. Sorry, Bob Lee looks old as hell. Oh my god. Yeah, it seems like it's been that way though for the last two, three years. The beard does not help him though. No. Sorry. Anyways, the go beard on. makes him look like prepubescent Hagrid. I, I don't. <laughs> what's that? Agrid, Harry Potter. Oh, Agrid. Agrid. I thought you said a bunch of, like, I thought that, uh, never mind. Go on. Anyway. Man, Jacob, where are you? I'm not, I'm physically <laughs> here. Physically, Men- not mentally. Mentally, I'm. In Hawaii? Sure. All right, so the biggest playoff surprise was what? My biggest playoff surprise, honestly, was that Pacers-Cleveland game. Oh, absolutely. Oladipo played like a man on fire. And yeah, Lance, but and Lance Stevenson actually like putting his imprint on a game again. Don't get me wrong; he like shows up every now and then, but specifically against the LeBron team, it seems like this guy always has it out to make a mm-hmm. point against him. Mm-hmm. 
Who, Oladipo? No, 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 no. no. Lance, Lance, uh, Lance Stevenson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I love this. Born ready. I mean, hashtag boy, born ready. Hashtag born ready. I wish he was still on and one like I signature too, shoe. Yeah. That was like last year. Now he's trying to be the sneaker king. Yeah, he plays with some heat. I don't know. Lance Stevenson, like him going off should scare Pacer fans because he's just going to think he's, he's back. Gonna, and he's going to yep. piss LeBron off just even more. I mean, yeah, you don't want to piss off well, LeBron. Well, this is 2007 LeBron all over again with yeah. really nobody surrounding him. So, like, even if he gets pissed, it, like, who are you going to throw it to? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Like, you don't have someone that's going to pack heat immediately and get you 20, 30 points mm-hmm. like that. I'm It's no discrediting Kevin Love, but, like, Kevin Love is no – grade a secondary star player no. mm, it depends like he i agree but he's like a third star if right. cleveland gets another star then that's the best version of kevin love yeah but do they have that no but what i'm that's saying what is I'm like saying. like he's still able to put up 25 he is when needed but it's not a consistent thing it's not like no you know, and he's also got glass knees yeah. and I think like, I think that's the he gets stuff. hurt a lot, but like the thing is, is Kevin Love like any big man that can stretch, and he's at least pulling down thirteen boards a game, and like his passing gets so discounted. Like Kevin Love is a very good player. I'm, I'm entirely with you. If the Celtics were to try and trade for him now, I'd say do it because I love Kevin Love. But for LeBron in this series, even the next series, man, he's going to be facing the winner of the Toronto Washington series. And that's not even like a 1-8 series. That's like a 1-6 or 1-5, 1-4 series. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Either way, LeBron's got it a lot tougher this year than most other teams. And that's why, like, you're playing Indiana. Maybe they get out in six games. I think, like, if they do. I I could see. I still have the the Cavs in six. See, that's what I'm saying. I I could see them winning in six. Because I don't think they're going to be able to take it. I don't think the Pacers are going to be able to keep up this level. No, they won't. Because I think Oladipo will have, like, two, maybe two more good games. The Pacers bench, though, is pretty deep. Honestly, they have a good like Cleveland's bench is dog shit. Dog shit. I think it's understatement. They got Kendrick Perkins now though. That is true. Hey, shout out to Kendrick. Mm -hmm. Thanks for two thousand eight. That's our guy. That's our guy. Not my guy. (laughs) That's my guy. (laughs) Not my guy. I no. I he's just a person. Yes. True. He breathes. A champion Um, too. I don't know. Cleveland, like, this is probably their least likely chance of making it out of the playoffs or making it out of the East. But I don't know who else would beat them. I think if they're going to fuck up, it's going to be early rather than later on. No, I agree. I think the farther LeBron goes, the more comfortable he'll yeah. get. Um, and then, like, it also gets, like, Jordan Clarkson, like, Larry Nance, all those guys who haven't been a little more acclimated because they are good subs. Like, what Cleveland has right now is, like, something they can build around and get, like, attract superstar. Be like, oh, look at our bench now. We have Jordan Clarkson, Larry Nance, and you mm-hmm. still have Kevin Love and LeBron. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, that, that that can make a solid team. The only reason why they're screwed this season in the playoffs is because they didn't have the time needed to develop. It no, I mean, yeah, it's very season. put together, but the moves they made are moves to, like, for next year. Yeah, yeah it's not uh, this And season. you still have that pick, so, like, why wouldn't you want to sign there? That was the best move made last summer. And if if LeBron stays in Cleveland, whatever like rookie you get is more than likely going to be a superstar under LeBron. All right, let me ask you guys this then. How far in the playoffs would Cleveland need to get to convince LeBron to stay? I think I think I think he has to get to the final. I think they have to win this one. And then if they push it to like like a 7 game series next time and like the next series. I think he has to come out of the East or at least get to the Eastern Conference final. See, I'm inclined to think that if they get to the Eastern Conference Finals, that's enough to convince them because what they did bring in says a lot more than the stuff they had to face this season. Yeah. And the stuff they can do this offseason benefits them way more for him to just st- like take a moment, see what's going to be the plan, and if you like it, stick with it. If not, you don't. I wouldn't be it. surprised to see LeBron do like 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 what he used to do is like he starts signing one year deal so he can renegotiate his contract to bring oh, in someone yeah. else, which is like. What you should do if you really want to like win now, like KD's doing the same thing. Yeah. He's renegotiating, but like, thing that sucks for like contracts in general is like, if I know that if like Draymond Green and Clay Thompson make for or make an NBA team, they're like open for like super max deals, mm-hmm. yeah. and there's no way that like someone's not going to sign at least one of them. Yeah. So like, the way contracts work can be pretty bullshit if yeah. you sign long term because I think you can LeBron get just likes to have the threat of like. That he can lose. He's got the power, yeah. yeah, yeah I, ultimately, power. I don't see him leaving, though. 
at this point. I really don't. See, I don't I know. Think, I can see it 50-50. Yeah, man. Like, I definitely. I really think this. Do you think he leaves the East? If he does leave, I think he does leave the East. I don't think he'll ever I leave the East. I think he'll go to the Sixers. That's my bet. A little part of me that thinks that LeBron old. is so, like. He's so self-conscious that he's like, oh, Michael Jordan only played on two teams. Kobe only played on one. Like, I got to be on this GOAT. Like, mm-hmm. three teams, that doesn't look that great for my legacy. But at the same time, if you win on every team you've been on, that's, like, crazy. It says more, yeah. yeah. But it also is – it'd be really cool if he only did it in Cleveland. Mm-hmm. I hope – my personal opinion as a fan, I hope he stays in Cleveland, even though I don't want to see him play my Celtics. It's just – it's right. You left once. You did your thing. You came back. You won in that city. Why not just continue trying to get In a dog the shit city. Yeah. Com- dog shit city. Com- help them compete at the highest level. Get all the acc- acc- accolades you can for your personal career while you're trying to win a championship. Yeah, because he had his ring chasing years. And yeah. then he got the rings. And now I think he wants to do it the right way. Not and keep one. doing it the right way. Not two. Yeah, he's still got it. Not three. Seven. That was the best yeah. speech on the planet. I mean, <laughs> dude, everyone's so gassed up in that moment. You could have said, I'm going to eat my own dick, and they would have gone crazy. Yeah, so looked, like Everyone would have started unzipping their pants and doing the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Marilyn Manson did it. Did he do wait, it? Wait, what? Not ma- Wait, which one cut the rib out to Marilyn suck Manson. his own dick? I know ma- wait, no. I'm gonna did Michael Jackson do that, too? He, he turned white, Thomas. Those are two different things. Oh. Marilyn Munson cut out his like dick to suck his own dick or something. He, he cut, cut out his own ribs. Well, all right, here it is. No, he cut out his all ribs. Right. Oral history. Marilyn Manson sucks his own dick. The oral history. In 1996, Marilyn Manson, uh, rock hero. Wait, what We're really it? off topic. We're reaching. Yeah. Okay, so. Didn't somebody in Workaholics do that? Didn't, <laughs> didn't yeah, they, 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 they all. They it's like at the very end of the scene. <laughs> you just see them all, all like. <laughs> Bending over trying to suck their own dick. I started uh, taking private yoga classes. I got some of those Pilates ma- machines for my home gym. Hey, on Basketball Reference said Rajon Rondo's nickname was a yoga instructor. Maybe it's because he tries to suck his own dick Probably. all the time. I don't hate on Rondo. Damn. I like Rondo, kind of, but he's definitely an asshole. He is. No, he is. He is. I he remember is. I went, when he played at UK, I was a little kid, and like he was signing autographs and stuff. Got up to him, he was done. I was like, can you sign it? And he just looked at me and walked away. Mm-hmm. What a dick. Really? No, he's an, he's an ass. Really? Yeah. What a dick. He knew what you were going to become. <laughs> <laughs> Who's laughing now, though? <laughs> I hope he sees Him. this just to specifically shout you out and be like, you still ain't getting that autograph. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't, I'm not signed to Anta, so. Is he an Anta guy? Yeah, so. Ooh. He's going to oh, play back. The, the shoe company that yeah. and all those guys. Clay Thompson. Are. He's yeah. the, yeah. He's That's the a big weird man. brand, man. China Clay is all time great, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Clay Thompson. Is got to be like the highest player in the NBA at all times. The highest? No, no, Isaiah Dude, Thomas. No, I'm okay. okay. I forgot. Isaiah Thomas does exist. Have you ever seen the shit Clay does? He's just a normal dude that like gets buckets. And no, is Isaiah always Thomas, like, high. Dude, he's Willie, always I'd say high. I really call Stein because I know that he's into like the marijuana market back in California. So like, probably of all guys, either him or like if we're talking retired dudes, Al Harrington or Stephen Jackson. I feel like when Steven I'm Steven Jackson yeah. said that he dude, smoked every yeah. day. In the dude, NBA. I feel like when I'm watching the jump on ESPN, mm-hmm. all those guys, like Paul Pierce and them, are wearing sunglasses, like maybe once or twice a week. Paul Pierce. And I'm like, dude, you guys are clearly baked mm-hmm. out of your mind on live TV. Paul but, Pierce, like, is don't talk too honest to, like, a fault. Like, he'll say, like, like, did you hear about the Kendrick one, Perkins and, like, Kevin Garnett, like, feud, how they used to, like, yeah. Kevin Garnett tried to make it sound, like, a lot better. And like a lot more like readable, and like Paul Pierce is like, no, they almost fought. Like they almost fought. <laughs> like I, I like Paul Pierce on like NBA talk shows because he. But like, like I almost really cool don't even respect like Paul champion, Pierce like for some reason. I don't, don't even respect him. just cause, no, no no like I understand he's an all time great, but like his lows are so low. Like my favorite, like he's my been embarrassed. So I under but the lows, dude. Like, like when that, he shit his like, pants that one like game. Joe Johnson, remember when he like actually made him get on? All yeah. The yeah. And then like, like the favorite. Draymond thing. I mean, like you thought you, you was, thought Kobe. was Kobe. Like, and he didn't say anything after yeah, it. That's like, not Boston, Paul Pierce. So that's after the fact. I can just like I know, but like that. it's just so sad to see someone or like that when he like when he like got hurt in the finals and like had to be like wheelchaired off and then came back like it was a bad less than ten injury. minutes it later. He injury. pooped his pants. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> what knee injury? He shit his pants. Like, nope, it's a known a fact. He literally shit his pants. Some fan in Boston probably has that wheelchair now. 
He literally oh, shit his pants. That's what I'm so saying. The lows are so, so lows. Oh yeah. Left there. oh yeah. Like and mm-hmm. like, like the amount of disrespect he got towards the end of it when he's on the Clippers, like just it was hard to like sit there and listen to him because like players would be like, no, nah, like fuck you, mm. like. Nothing makes me happier. It's like mellow than almost. Nothing makes me happier than turning on a game and I get to see Paul Pierce. My face lights up. I get so happy. I was not so happy, happy when I saw him on Clippers. I was like, this is awful. You know what the one thing that made me very happy about his last season with the Clippers was? The game, the last game against the Celtics where he came in at that last moment and hit that three. It's just like the ice Yeah, when he, <laughs> he kept calling himself the truth, like we forgot what his nickname was. Well, yeah, he's the, okay. Well, okay. So, do you the, like Doc Rivers as a coach? Did I like the Doc Rivers era of basketball with the Celtics? Because he's a terrible coach. I liked him with that team, but you got to remember, he had the right players with the right mindset that mixed with him. Yeah, Rajon Rondo was a better coach than he was. No, no. no. Rajon Rondo is like the reason the Pelicans are so good. No. You need to stop talking. I just like right now. Get out. <laughs> Sorry, we had a little interruption there. Again. Um, playoffs though. Rondo's yeah. <laughs> the reason the Pelicans are good. No, Anthony Davis. I mean, no, obviously AD, but like Rondo is like a huge help. Andrew Holiday in the playoffs might be the best player of all time. Did you watch that game? Um, it's it's a stretch. I'm obviously joking. That's I one wish you guys could have game of Drew Holiday actually playing well in like the ten years that he's been boys, around. Boys, and he's had boys, boys, boys. I'm just being sarcastic. Oh, thank like, God. but like he's very hard fucking hard. good at basketball. What did he like? What did he do? Did he have like a triple double or something? He, I think he put up like seventeen, but like his defense was insane. Yeah. Like who's he'll that, probably make an All NBA. Who's that guy on the year. Pelicans who? Jordan Crawford, yeah, where's the, the big baller big brand? Baller brand? He didn't shoes. play. And Cheek Diallo might be the worst NBA player of all time. Yeah. Like every time I think he touched the ball in that Blazers game, I think he. It was bad. I think it was either a turnover or like a brick. Mm-hmm. But I reserved. Does that he one, have actually. any relation to Hami D? No. no. He doesn't. No. I remember all the hype he had coming I'm go, out. As I'm like going out recruit, and saying that the worst NBA player of all time was Vladimir Rodmanovich. I don't know who that is. Exactly. I can't remember who that is. No. Second worst know. was Kobe, so I'm just kidding. Man, you're trying to give me Ooh, a freaking headache. Bro. I don't know why you guys <laughs> love Kobe so much. I don't love Kobe. Well, I respect his remember, legacy. I like, grew up in Los Angeles watching him firsthand, so it's a little bit different. Yeah, and I grew up playing NBA Live with Shaq and Kobe, and I like Shaq way more, so... Yeah, but you didn't see it firsthand. TVs you didn't go existed. To the you didn't go to that. Yeah, because I lived in Kentucky. Yeah, boo hoo. Whose problem is that? Mm. Not mine. I remember asking my mom for a Kobe Bryant jersey, and she got me an Allen Iverson jersey instead. Better choice. Better choice. That was hard. Better choice. Better choice. The yeah. answer. I used answer. to get like, do you remember like when they used to sell like the sets for the answers, like his shoes, and you got like a sleeve and the finger yeah. things and the headband, dude. I used to get one of those for Christmas first, he was every the first guy year. To, like, with Use the, sleeve. the shooting sleeve. Yeah. Oh, dude. He, he like, really made it popular. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. He I did. feel like Melo learned that from him, like, mm-hmm. directly. All right. Let's do first-round predictions. Game, or, like, series by series. Let's start right. in the East. All right. All right. So, Toronto, Washington. Who do you got coming out in how many? I have the Raptors. In, in what? Six. In six? Mm-hmm. Jacob? Um, I don't know. It was a good game. Raptors look shook. Kyle Lowry sucks again, which is always awesome. So, it's so it's the playoffs. They're not for real. I mean, they'll win one. I'm gonna go Warriors or uh, fuck uh, Wizards in seven. Wizards. In I seven. mean, I would love to see it. But I I agree. Like I could see Raptors taking it in six. Mm-hmm. I think it'll go more than five games. Mm-hmm. They both like both teams are so bad. Yeah, the Wizards just are not deep at all. Yeah. John Wall like. I don't know. Like he's gonna get so much money next year, and like they're fucked. Nuts. Wizards, like it's, their contracts. It's the handcuffs. That's a problem for them because they have such a good player who commands top dollar, and you can't let him leave. But like the best version of John Wall isn't when he's scoring twenty it's plus. It's when he has like sixteen assists. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then like Bradley Bill's like the one going off. All right. But, so hear me out. My comparison for the Raptors in the playoffs this year are like the Hawks from two years ago. They mm-hmm. were that sixty win team. They were the hottest in the NBA. They had those four all-stars. But it was and a they were a number one seed, too. Yeah, right? and yeah. it was a system thing, you know? 
I think that. Well, it was also that they were the only team in the East that tried. Yeah. Like that's the, just the that seems to be the trend in the East is yeah. if you try well, the before, hardest. Before now that I mean Boston last year did that too. Like they tried the hardest to have every team in the East with the least. Honestly, <laughs> think about what they had. But I think that Toronto gets out of the series in six. Honestly, I. I respect what the Wizards are doing. They definitely weren't an eight seed for me. They were like fifth or sixth, mm-hmm. but like you know how with all the records work. But Toronto, I just I can't not give them credit, especially for winning that first playoff game, breaking the streak. So I'm giving it to Toronto for this game. What? Uh, who's the breakout like player if like Toronto was to go through? I think they uh, gotta beat Demar every time. No, I think I think Van Vliet. Brevin. He's, He's been good. giving them like a lot. He of He didn't really play good first game though. No, he didn't. He didn't. Really. No. He didn't. no. I'm, I'm saying that uh, for Toronto, it's Siakam off the bench. He's I mean, good. He really is. Like out of nowhere too. Yeah. Just random. Uh, All right. So mine's got to be John Wall. Just not turn the uh, ball over. Yeah. I think he had like five turnovers. Yeah, if he yeah. doesn't turn the ball over, then they're good. Yeah, they're golden. I mean, they got like Wizards. Like they have some pretty good young players. Like Kelly Oubre is going to be very good, but the issue is that you paid Otto Porter so much. So they had much to, they had to match that Brooklyn contract, man. I would have let him go to Bro- Brooklyn, Same. honestly. Especially when you have a guy that's in your uh, like essentially farm system who's like actually showing progress yeah. and can lead that team yeah. like from the small forward position. All right, so Cleveland, Indiana. Who you got and how many? Uh, I'm going Cleveland in seven. I think the Pacers will push them to seven. I agree. But I think LeBron will go. I, I, I agree. Cleveland in seven yeah. for sure. Because, yeah. Yeah, like, like, I think the Cavs are going to be drinking a little too much vino first two mm-hmm. games. Mm-hmm. And they're like, all right, we're kind of pushing this out of reach. So Yeah, it's just, you know. But LeBron, LeBron said it the other day. He's like, yeah, don't talk to me about playoff deficits. Like, I came back from 3-1. Yeah, dude. Finals. Like, that's the thing. I can't describe It's like them. you literally, you're like, all right, yeah. That's I get true. mixed feelings about LeBron being hard because, like, a little – like, most of the time, I'm like, all right, that's hard. I like that. Mm-hmm. But, like, sometimes it, it's almost too – like, I think he just does it for, like – I think he's been, like, a, like a social meme. media. He's been a meme too many times for me to, like, actually – He's probably pissed that Michael Jordan's the all-time meme, and yeah. he's just trying to get his. I don't know. Like, his, his crying face whenever they won um, – LeBron's? That was pretty funny. But, yeah, dude, yeah. Michael Jordan's crying face well, is, yeah, like, I mean, like – it, it might be the best meme of all time. Yeah. Because it's on everything. Mm-hmm. It's everywhere. As soon as something happens, like, I saw a picture, like, after the whole Tristan Thompson thing, it was, like, him and Chloe taking, like, pregnancy pictures, and her stomach was just the crying <laughs> Jordan <laughs> face. <laughs> All right, then, who is your pick between Philadelphia and Miami? Philly. And, like, four. Philly's, Philly's gonna sweep. sweep. For sure. All right. They're We're so good. We're on agreement. Mm-hmm. Then, last but not least. Oh, I want to bring up a point of that. Justice Winslow's a fucking dickhead. Did you watch that game at all? I didn't watch it. Part of it. Jesus, dude. Like, I wanted to punch him in the face. See, like, just after off? everything, like, after every play, he was bumping someone or, like, talking shit. And then he just got danced on by Markel Fultz. It was Danced rough. on. And then Ben Simmons just did Ben Simmons things. Mm-hmm. Like, they decided to let Kelly Olenek guard him, oh. which is never problem. a good it's idea. A no. it's a good I love um, Kelly, but it's, nah, it's a no. no-go for me. I don't know. Bam Adebayo, though, like, well, first off, Hassan Whiteside only played 12 minutes. Like, he's he trash. Hurt? No. And, like, he wants to leave, so he's going somewhere next year. Yeah, so he's just but he'll be trash players. next year regardless. Yeah. I don't think he – because his think knees he's, are he's already fucked. had his years. He's yeah. had his years where he broke And out. I think he's not the best guy. Yeah. No. My, my, the last, yeah. And on the last prediction, Celtics Bucks. Who you guys got? Bucks and seven. <sighs> Your opinion does not matter. You know, I'm, I think I'm gonna buy into Brad Stevens and take and take the Celtics in seven. Celtics I think they do six. get I think they do get pushed to seven. But Celtics in six, man. I think the coaching will, will come up on top. I think the two games they lose are in Milwaukee, not in Boston. Mm-hmm. Mm, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know if they can defend Giannis the way they did in uh, Game One. I think they'll be fine. You're also I don't know like right. Boston. The amount of people that like they don't have. Like, Aaron Baines is playing a lot. All right, guys. Well, we were able to get through our Eastern side predictions. We'll be able to get through the West very shortly. Catch in for the next episode of the Past Our Primes NBA Playoff Edition of our podcast. Thank you guys for tuning in again. We're signing off for today. Thanks, guys. Yeah, that was, that was all East.